With the excitement of the 2017 release of it, I decided to watch the original 1990 version. Was it good? Find out now. Welcome to Real Minutes. I'm William Kwok, and if you're new here, consider subscribing for movie reviews, commentary, opening weekend audience reactions, and movie news. Anyway, on to my review. The 1990 made-for-TV movie It aired on television on the ABC channel. Just looking at this movie, you can tell it's dated, but how did the movie hold up on its own? I'm going to just come out and say that the movie as a whole wasn't very good. For starters, there's a great ensemble cast of kids whose acting just overshadows that of their adult counterparts, even though they had big name adult stars. No, not that kind. Attached to play the parts of the kids, all grown up. Tim Curry is the shape-shifting evil clown known as Pennywise, and other notable actors were John Ritter of Three's Company fame, Annette O'Toole, who later went on to play Martha Kent in Smallville, and Seth Green as Richie Tozier. Yes, that's Seth Green. The movie is based in Derry, Maine, in a small town where kids have been disappearing every 30 years. The movie It is set in 1960 and revolves around a group of seven friends who call themselves the Losers Club because they feel that they are social outcasts. The members of the Losers Club find out that as adults, an evil being that tormented them as children has come back to their little town of Derry. They made a promise as children to return to Derry if the evil presence ever returned. The first half of the movie revolves around the experiences of the adults as children shown in flashbacks, with the second half of the movie focusing on their revisit to Derry in 1990 as adults to battle the evil shape-shifting entity known as Pennywise. The first half of the movie was a lot more enjoyable than the second half, largely due to the likability of the children cast members. This is not to say that the adult cast members weren't likable, but some of the acting was just atrocious and overdone. It was you, wasn't it? Damn it, Bev, is that you in there? Is that the clown? I don't know what the hell is going on. How am I supposed to know? It's me. The 1990 version of It is just so campy in some parts that it's almost laughable, but I can understand how this movie caused nightmares for so many children. The scary scenes were visually frightening for a TV movie. It has a slightly above B-movie quality that actually makes it a fun movie to watch at times. Tim Curry as Pennywise comes across as a friendly clown until he gets all serious and hungry for tormenting children. His performance as Pennywise carries the heart of the movie as the main antagonist, but it doesn't save the movie from some awful visual effects and even worse acting from some of the adult cast. I give the 1990 version of It a 65% rating. The editing was in the even, the acting from some of the adult cast was overdone, and some of the visual effects looked really cheesy, especially toward the end. With the 2017 version of it out, I don't think there's any need to watch this made-for-TV version unless you want a toned-down story that tries to keep true to the source material but loses the weight of the original material in doing so due to the restrictions of airing on television. It has moderate user and critical reviews. Movie loving fans, I value your thoughts. Remember to subscribe, comment, and share, and check out my other reviews. Let's fill the minutes with Real Minutes. Thanks for watching my review on Real Minutes. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to click like or subscribe.